Hey guys, um, today I'm going to talk about a piece of software that comes with the Gigabyte motherboards. This is called EasyTune 5. Uh, it's an application that they give you with the board to be able to uh, check your uh, hardware. You can do your hardware monitoring, um, check what your uh, bus speeds are, CPU speeds, multipliers, voltage, uh, basically a bunch of information about your uh, computer memory uh, that sort of thing. Um, today we're going to uh, show you just how easily it can uh, overclock with the uh, tuner software. Uh, we're just going to go into tuner here and on the easy setting all they do is give you an adjustment for your front side bus. Um, you don't have to change anything else if you don't want. It will overclock your memory with your uh, processor. Uh, so you'll have to keep an eye on that. You can uh, possibly run your front side bus high enough where your memory becomes a problem. But uh, if you go into your advanced mode, now it's going to give us uh, some other options. We can adjust our PCI Express uh, frequency to uh, make sure we're not overclocking that too hard. It gives us a separate frequency for memory. Um, so we can adjust that manually and then of course your front side bus memory so uh, we're just going to tweak around with this a little bit and uh, see what we can set this at okay the first thing we're going to do is try to find our front side bus limit on the CPU uh, I just set it at 420 um, once you pick your speed you just go down to set and it'll take it a few seconds it'll calculate it for you Um, I'm also using uh, CPU Z to uh, verify our speeds and uh, core voltages. And I also have real temp up to uh, <clears throat> keep an eye on our cores, make sure we're not getting too hot. But uh, so far, 420 seems fine. Okay, we got the uh, front side bus running at about 430 megahertz, almost 100 megahertz over stock. Um, we have the RAM up to 860 from the 799 stock and we're going to keep the PCI Express at the 100 megahertz it's running at. Um, that'll give us an overclock of uh, about 3.23. Um, we're going to do a super pi calculation. We'll just do a simple 1 meg calculation here and see what kind of scores we can get. sixteen seconds not too bad um, normally I'm not a big fan of uh, software overclocking um, I would prefer to do it through uh, BIOS uh, if I have a chance to um, the nice thing I find about this program and especially with the gigabyte boards is they give you all the features in BIOS to overclock the advantage to this easy tuner is that you can go into Windows and try different settings find out uh, whereabouts you're at with it, uh, you know, how far you can push your front side bus, and uh, then you can go into BIOS and set it without having to reboot the computer several times uh, to try to find your front side bus limit. This way you can uh, mess around with it. If you go too high and it uh, freezes windows, you just restart the computer, it's going to go right back to stock and start back up again so you don't get locked out of the BIOS or freeze it up by uh, too aggressive of an overclock. So you can really play around with it and uh, see what you can do and then go into BIOS and set it. But uh, anyway, this was the EasyTune 5 for the Gigabyte boards. Uh, very good program. Um, I would highly recommend it for testing uh, your overclock speeds, seeing uh, what you can do with it.